What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are here on the EC Motorsports YouTube channel and we're coming into the new year. It's a few days before the new year. I hope everyone's holidays were good and I hope that you guys have written down some goals for 2024 that you are going to get after. I know that I have a few that I want to get after and uh, I think we're going to make them happen. And I think you guys have the ability within yourselves to make your goals happen as well. So, without getting too mushy-gushy here, let's talk street cars, let's talk race cars, let's talk Ford 9-inch. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That is a really nice, nice piece. Why is it going in the piece of crap red car? Well, let me tell you something. This... Um, this was a Christmas gift. Yeah, I know. I was just as surprised as you guys probably were about that fact. This, this was a gift from my father, my father-in-law, and, uh, yeah. Boy, does it change some things on the car, let me tell you. We went from buying an 8.8 out of some old Mustang Putting, some, putting a good gear set in with some axles, embracing it, and, and hoping it lasts the car to a rear end that will now outlive us all. Look at this thing. Yeah, Ford Fab 9-inch with all of the factory Fairmont Fox body uh, suspension locations, uh, rubber bushings because it is a street car, and every, I mean, everything's in stock location. It's a Mustang with as well. So, you know, we're talking 40 spline axles now, aluminum center section. I mean, this is gonna be a badass piece. And uh, let me tell you something, I couldn't be more grateful um, for this. I mean, this is, this is the nicest part of the car. And the best part about it is no one's ever going to see it because it's going to be underneath it. But I'll know it's there. You guys will know it's there. And, uh, yeah, this is like a, this is a piece where if I ever want to sell the red car, I got to take this thing out and put an 8.8 in there and just say, listen, I'm not, I'm not giving this thing up. This thing is a, this thing is a bad-ass unit. So like I was saying, this thing is a badass unit, and uh, yeah, extremely thankful for that. So, look at that. Alright, enough talking about my rear end. Let's get into the video, let's get into what we got going on today, and uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the rain, but it's pouring outside. Go figure. So, let's talk about what we got going on in today's video, right about now. Alright, so... What are we talking about in this video? Well, unless the title has given it away, who knows? We're talking about mounting a shifter up. This is our beautiful hand-me-down her shifter. This is our uh, our beginning plate. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. You gotta get the drift on that. And now we are going in here. And uh, this is the plate that I'm going to weld to the floor of the car. That then the pedestal is going to come up. Shifter is going to sit. Um, yeah, I got some hieroglyphics going on here, but this is this is how I kind of want to trim this plate up to that way it fits the tunnel pretty good. And then um, have our pedestal come up, weld to the bottom of that. Hopefully have a nice sturdy shifter. Uh, maybe I'll add some gussets on the bottom to help from it tilting back and forth you know when you're shifting so on and so forth um nothing super fun <laughs> but uh it needs to get done so come along for the ride we are about to uh shift it into the next gear and uh get going on the shifter so uh yeah enjoy that <laughs> So 
here's something that resembles a shifter. It's very much so all tacked in place simply because I want to make sure Emily fit. I have the flash on. I want to make sure that Emily's comfortable with where that's located. Um, because if she's not comfortable with it, then there's no point in having it where it is. So, so I'm going to hop in, kind of play with it a little bit, see if I like how it's tilted. Um, I got to shut this flash off. All right, so now that the flash is off, I'm going to hop in. Oh, all right. So I wanted it tilted because now it feels a little bit more natural, you know, let's scooch back a little bit yeah like that feels more natural than having it like this you know what i mean like this now it's just a now it's just a push forward or, or a pull you know pull back i don't remember which one this is but i don't know to me this feels a little bit more natural to have it kind of slightly slightly curved all right so now that i've broken the tack i'm i'm almost curious if i should just leave it straight it might look the best I don't know, but I got to take it back in. So, uh, uno momento for favor. All right, it is, it's more better now. I think I like this more. Straight, action, we're good to go. Um, as you can see, I mean, that, that cut took me, uh, I did it on the first try. These are just, I don't know. I, I'm not all here today, apparently, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the start of a shifter mount, so. Like I said, next, tomorrow, I'm going to get Emily out here and uh, make sure that she's cool with where that sits. Um, if she's cool with where it sits, then I'm going to pull the bench seat out because I'll be able to. And then I'll weld that whole thing up. I'll weld the bottom plate, I'll weld the tube, and I'll weld underneath it and um, the, the, the pedestal itself. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So... As long as Emily likes where it's at and she's she's comfy with it, then um, we're gonna rock and roll, get that shifter welded in, and uh, I'll be able to cross another thing off my list. So, with that being said, let's jump to tomorrow, see where we're at, and uh, see if we have to make any changes. Okay, so what you just saw was a time lapse of me putting the steering column in the Motion Race Works steering column. I'm sure there's a, yep, there it is. You can see the sticker. Look at that. Look at that. So if you remember me saying before the time lapse, I was going to get Emily out here, have her sit in the seat, see where she was comfortable, see if she liked where the shifter was. And, um,. That made me think that I should probably put the steering column in. And with that, uh, I learned that makes it tight. Makes it tight. And now I'm also wondering if the dash is going to hit the shifter. Hmm. Yeah. So I might scratch all this for the moment. And get a dash ordered and um, yeah we might be running into a problem here but uh, it looks great I mean it's it's a it is a Fairmont column from motion raceworks like that is the that is what this is nice steering wheel all that stuff so I don't know where the dash stops because if this shifter is all the way forward, then uh, it might be in the way of the dash. And I, I, you, I can't even, this is, yeah, I'm, okay, there we go. 
Thank God it's a removable steering wheel because there we go. Now I have some leg room. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is this is making me think a lot of things. Um, none of which are super super great. I'll be honest with you. So uh, it's not bolted down. So this is kind of a pain. But yeah, like that's all the way forward on the shifter. That should be park. I don't know. I don't. I don't. It, it, does the dash stop here? Because if the dash stops here, then we're good. But that's a such. That is a super short dash. Normally, you know, your dash kind of comes out a little bit and then comes down. So I. I don't know. I'm. I'm starting to think that we're running into some trouble here. So. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to get a dash on order, and in doing that, maybe I can move the shifter back. Maybe uh, maybe I can move the shifter back, and we can go from there. But I guess, I guess I'm still going to get Emily in here, and um, we're just going to see what it is. So I guess I'm probably going to edit a lot of this time frame because I'm taking big pauses kind of really doing some um some mental mental notes here but uh oh uh, yeah well there's only one thing really to do and um I have to get Emily in here see where she fits and uh from there maybe we'll move the shifter back um yeah maybe we'll figure something out but, uh, but regardless, I guess uh, I'm going to get a dash on order, and then uh, we're going to wait a couple weeks uh, to get that and see what happens and where we're going with it. So this might kind of, if the dash doesn't fit and all this kind of seems to make everything super, super tight and not comfortable, we will probably just, um, we'll We'll probably we're probably gonna have to reevaluate a lot of this. Um, so the dash is kind of gonna be the end all be all um, because you know I with the seat all the way back, it's comfy for me. Um, I could move the shifter back and all this could be avoided. But Emily is quite a bit shorter than me, so I gotta make sure that she's comfortable in here and that the shifter can still be uh, used. So the other thing that could happen is I could scrap this shifter mount and I could build one that comes up, bends, and then comes into here. So now your shifter is, is more here when you're uh, slid all the way up. So say, say, you know, we have to move the seat up, you know, for Emily, um, say we could build a mount that comes up, bends, comes in, put your shifter on that, now your shifter's here um, versus here. It gains us that, you know, five inches or so. So that might be enough. I don't know. I uh, I pretty much really just have to get a dash in here and find out. So uh, that's it. We're done with this video because I can't really continue until I get Emily out here. And then, uh, who? Ouch. Oh, well, it is what it is. This is kind of part of hot riding at this point in time. So uh, we're going to figure it out. Uh, don't you worry. But uh, yeah, we're out. Thank you so much for watching. It's kind of abrupt ending because, uh, well, I can't do anything. I can't really do anything uh, related to what I this video is about until the dash gets here. So we're going to hop on something else for the next video. That's no doubt. But uh, for now, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, we're going to get this figured out. It's no worry. So, till next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, share, comment, subscribe. As always, Happy New Year. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.